guys welcome back okay so today i have another colorful palette that i want to play with if you watch my shop my stash then you know i did pull this glam light paint palette out to play with and so this is the palette that i want to play with today it's basically a rainbow palette very very cute though the packaging for this palette is really what got me because of course i already have a million rainbow palettes but this one this one got me because it's shaped like an actual paint palette so if you're an artiste <laughs> an artist or someone who's into you know cute packaging then this might be a palette that got you too but anyways it's been out for a while it is limited edition so yeah, I believe it is still for sale. I think it was $45, so it's not an inexpensive palette. But you know, with indie brands, sometimes the pricing can get a little bit up there. But it's just a basic rainbow. But it looks like there's some gorgeous shimmers in here as well. I will go ahead and swatch some of them. I don't know if I'm going to swatch the whole palette since it is just a rainbow palette. But this is what I want to play in today. And I also want to take a look at this palette and compare it to a couple of other rainbow palettes that I have just because, you know, since it's $45, you know, I want to give you guys some other colorful rainbow options to choose from as far as rainbow palettes go. But before I start playing in that palette, I want to do a face mask today. <laughs> I haven't done a face mask this week. What is it? Well, it's only Tuesday, but... It's been a little while since I've done a face mask and I did receive some products from Sand and Sky. Um, they wanted to send me some stuff to try out. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Okay. But they did send me some products to try out and just kind of, you know, give you guys my thoughts on them if I like them or not. This one, they sent me four products. So this first product here is the Australian Pink Clay Flash Perfection Exfoliating Treatment. And this is what the box looks like. Now this one, I know I'm not going to be trying this one out for a little while because I am testing out some skincare from Good Molecules and I don't really like to mix, you know, if I'm testing something out, I just want to use that one brand. But this is a exfoliating treatment and it comes like this and I believe this is one that you know you put on um let it let it do its thing and then you rinse it off now the exfoliator that I'm currently using is a overnight exfoliator I love those <laughs> I love them because I you know cleanse my face and everything before I go to bed and I just put that on go to bed and I wake up feeling and looking fresh okay <laughs> So I really like the overnight exfoliators, but you know, some people don't really get down with them because they do tend to burn, you know, cause they're actually, you know, resurfacing your skin and everything. So, but I like it. <laughs> do I like pain? Do I have an issue you guys? I don't know. But anyways, so this is an exfoliator from them that I will be trying at a later date because, you know, like I said, I don't want to mix. They sent me two face masks to try out. Now, this one is the Australian Pink Clay Pore Fining Face Mask. So let me go ahead and show you this one. It's so cute how they come packaged because they send you a cute little mask brush to use to put the mask on. So I think that's a nice little added touch. But let me show you what this packaging looks like, you guys, because their packaging is really cute too. So this is what this one looks like. And I think I might be trying this one today since it is pore fining. You know, I got some serious pores on my face. So anything that can tighten them up, I'm here for it. This mask is the Australian Emu Apple. It's a super bounce mask. It's to glow and plump. So that's what this box looks like. Let me show you what this one looks like. Oh, how cute. I'm dropping stuff. Get it together, KK. Okay, so this one came with a little <laughs> um, brush as well. So this is what this one looks like. I really like their packaging. I like the feel of it, just the whole aesthetic. So this is what this one looks like. Let me see if I can smell this. It has the little covering on the top. 
Okay. Mm. It just smells like a clay mask, but it's very mild. It's not anything, I don't want to spill it. It's not anything harsh or strong. It's very mild, but yeah, it does not like it smells sweet or anything. <laughs> if you're one of those that is really into smell, it just smells like a regular mask. So, and this one, the Poor Finding Mask, let me see here. Yeah, it just smells like a mask. So this is the one that I think I'm gonna use today. So let me quit running my mouth so I can try out this mask. And while I'm masking, maybe we'll do some swatches for these palettes. Oh, and I almost forgot, I have one more item. This is the Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops. And this is what that looks like. Let me show you the actual container because it is so cute. <laughs> So this is what this serum looks like in its glow drops. And I don't know if you can see in there, probably not, but there's like a oil in there. So you definitely have to shake this up to, you know, get it to mix together. I did kind of put a drop of this on my hand when I first got it, just to kind of test it out and see if I liked how it felt. And just being honest with you, I don't. <laughs> No, if it's just because it's just the whole water and oil you know not mixing thing kind of i don't like it so i am going to try it out on my face i don't know if i'll be trying it out today but i will be trying it out on my face eventually to see if maybe i have different feelings or thoughts about it but just off top i don't really like it <laughs> Okay, so now let me go ahead and put some of this mask on before we start talking about this palette. So this one is pore fining. It detoxifies and brightens. So y'all get a good look at my face right now so y'all can tell me if I look brighter after I rinse it off. Ooh, nice and cool. Yeah, it just smells like a regular clay mask. Okay, so we have the mask on. It feels nice, nice and cool. It feels like it's starting to tighten a little bit, okay. Okay, so it says I'm supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and take a look at this Glam Light palette. I just wanna do a few swatches. So I think what I'm gonna do is really swatch like the shimmers. Now this palette has 18 shadows and six of them are the shimmers and the six shimmers are all the ones in the center so some gorgeous like blues gold turquoise and this white there is a matte black in here which is nice so let's go ahead and take a look i'll swatch just a few of the mattes to give you an idea so that's the coral the purple and one of the blues the green, the red, and the black. Now let's do a couple of these shimmers. So that's a purple. Ooh, very vibrant blue. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. And then the gold. Ooh, those shimmers are really, really pretty. I would say the mattes are just kind of typical. They swatch decent enough but I think the shimmers are what really shines in this palette. So just a couple of other palettes that I have in my collection. If you are liking this paint palette and you don't really care about the packaging, but you're looking for a rainbow palette that's a bit cheaper, I do have this Trendy in Tokyo palette from BH Cosmetics. I just picked this up from Ulta. I think I got it on sale um, not on sale, but you know how they have the $3.50 off coupon that you can always use 
for if you spend $15 or more. So I did pick this up with that coupon. So you figure 16 bucks and you take 350 off. That's a pretty good deal because there are what 16 shades in this palette and it's just a typical colorful palette. So just take a look here the shadows basically i think what i'll do i'll put a picture of the glam light palette over here so you can look at it but it has the reds the orange the green yellow pink and purple what's missing from here is the shimmery white and gold as well as the matte black so in that instance you know you don't get those in the palette but if you don't really care about that then this might be a really good affordable option um, let me just do a couple of swatches out of here. <clears throat> I haven't used this palette yet, so honey, I don't know. It could be garbage, but <laughs> BH Cosmetics usually isn't, you know, bad. Their palettes can be hit or miss sometimes, but you just never know, okay? So let me just do a few swatches from here so you can kind of see with the BH Cosmetics. I hate swatching on my hand because I have so many wrinkles, <laughs> wrinkles and knuckles but wow hello <laughs> okay so the bh cosmetic swatches is not bad okay for 16 bucks you might want to check it out okay another palette that i wanted to mention that's like a really pretty like rainbow type palette is the tammy and revolution carnival palette now as you can see the packaging on here is so freaking cute okay and this palette is affordable as well i think this one is about 15 bucks on ulta and revolution so as you can see it has the gorgeous rainbow shades as well you got your red your orange your green your blue your pink your purple this one does have a black it doesn't have a shimmery white or gold um in here either but you know what i'm saying if you're looking for a rainbow then this one is a pretty good rainbow as well. Let me do a few swatches from this palette also. Now this palette is okay. It's not my absolute favorite rainbow palette, you know, the formula or whatever. But, you know, it's, it's a pretty decent palette. So those are some swatches from the Tammy palette. She has gorgeous shimmers in here as well. The blue in here feels a little bit chalky, the matte blue but that's like the red and there's the blue. So you see the pigmentation is there um, for 15 bucks, you know, you'd be saving like $30 <laughs> on a colorful palette, okay? And if you want a palette that has a few more, you guys, I don't know how the quality is gonna be. I think this mask is kind of throwing off <laughs> my light balance or whatever, but whatever. But if you want a palette that has beautiful like bright colors but a few other options thrown in as well there's the revolution and patricia bright palette this one is the rich in color palette she has another one that has like more neutral shadows on it as well but this is what the rich in color palette looks like so as you can see this is extremely colorful okay very very bright and there's a lot of shadows in here there's what 28 shadows if i can count and it also gives you like some a couple of pressed glitters it has these shadows in here that are kind of like the super shock shadows from color pop as well which i don't really care for in a palette <laughs> but yeah it has like more options more variety as far as a colorful palette goes it does have this beautiful white shimmer up here like the glam light palette but it doesn't have um a matte black this shadow down here is kind of like a really dark foresty green so it's not black but you know if you want a rainbow palette, this is another option. It's a bit more expensive. This one is $25. Yeah, it does have glitter and, you know, super shock putty shadows and all that stuff in it too. So this is just another option. Let me do a few swatches from here as well. It's almost time for me to take this mask off. And so that way you can just kind of see how this one swatches as well. Okay, do I have any room left? Let's see. I'll put it here. It'll just have to be hairy. <laughs> 
So there's a purple, a pink, super bright pink, and then that same gorgeous blue shimmer. So those three are from the Patricia Bright palette as well. Very, very pretty, nicely pigmented, nice swatches. So those are just some other options in case you're like, ooh, I want a rainbow palette, but $45, uh, no. And so just a few other lesser expensive options for you guys. Okay, so I am going to go rinse this mask off. It's feeling nice and tight and ready to pop. And then I will be back with my skin detoxified and, and tightened and brightened, okay? <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm back. Skin completely rinsed off, mask totally gone, and this is what my skin looks like. So you guys let me know in the comments if you think my face looks brighter, tighter, <laughs> more refreshed. Um, It feels good. It feels really, really nice. And my own opinion, I feel like my skin is a little bit brighter. Um, I mean, I guess my pores could be a little bit more refined and tightened a little bit. I mean, bottom line is I like the way my skin looks and I like the way it feels. So that's a good thing. So as far as this Australian pink clay pore fining face mask that detoxifies and brightens, I like it so far. <laughs> First impression, I like it. While we're at it, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use some of this Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops because, like I said, when I put it on my hand, I was like, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> I don't like it, but I want to give it a fair shot. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my face and see how I feel about it. Ooh. See, it is very very watery it just feels like water with like oil in it so i don't know what's the best way to apply this i'm just gonna put some on my hand i mean it's very lightweight but very difficult to use because it's so watery look at that most serums, you put them on and they have a little bit of thickness to them. So they'll kind of, you know, just ease down your face. They're a lot easier to use. But this one, very watery. It basically feels like I'm putting water on my face with just like a drop of oil in it. So what I do like about it is the fact that it is extremely lightweight. But for ease of use, I'm gonna have to give it, <laughs> give it a pretty, uh, I don't like it. Cause it's not easy to use. But now that I'm rubbing it into my skin, mm, it has a very mild scent to it. Not anything harsh. Yeah, very mild. I wouldn't I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't smell like fruit or anything. It's just like it just smells like a mild skincare scent. So it says this is supposed to plump and moisturize my skin. It doesn't feel bad at all. I actually really like the lightweight feeling of it. And I feel like my skin is nice and glowy since I put it on. It feels good, but this wouldn't be my first choice to grab just because it's difficult to use. It's really just like putting water on your face. So I could see myself wasting a lot of this. <laughs> it's just spilling it all over the place, trying to get it on my face. But anyways, yeah, so it's not bad, actually. I'm glad I did actually go ahead and put it on my face because I really like how it feels. Okay, so let me go ahead. Y'all, this video is going to be long, okay? Sorry, but I'm just doing a lot today. <laughs> so let me go ahead, throw on some brows, and then we'll jump into this palette. Okay, you guys. So to prep my lids today, I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I haven't used this in a while. So I pulled it out to use for a little while. Okay, since I'm doing a colorful look, 
and I don't want my brow bone to be super duper light or have a lot of color on it. I'm just going to go in with some of my Too Faced um, foundation powder and just kind of lightly dust that right on my brow bone. And this is just something I do when I want to have my shadow just kind of blend a little bit easier and I don't really want a whole bunch of brightness right under my eyebrow. Okay, so I definitely want something really pretty and colorful, of course, using this palette. But I do need to leave the house today. And with this hair, I don't want to be looking like homie the clown. Okay, <laughs> so I think I'm going to start out with this coral shade in my crease. So let's just see how bright she is. So on my skin tone, she is appearing to be more on the pink side to me than coral. But it's still very pretty. And I'm just gently tapping in the color. I don't want to pick up too much on my brush because like I said, I don't want it to be too, too crazy today. Okay, so now that I have that coral shade or pink, <laughs> blown out in my crease I think I want to go in with the purple and just kind of deepen up my crease a little bit okay so that shadow is laying down and blending out fairly nicely no real issues and this one I feel like is more true to color than the coral shade. This one actually looks like the color that is in the pan. Okay, so now that I have those two colors laid down and blended out pretty nicely, I do wanna deepen up my outer corners a little bit, of course. Don't wanna do outer and inner. Yeah, just my outer corner. <laughs> and I'm going to take some of the navy blue and just tap just a little bit in the outer corners and see how that blends. So I'm just going back in with some of that coral because that navy blue did what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to deepen up that purple just a little bit in that outer corner. And so it kind of turned it into more like a plum. Now next to these darker shadows, that coral is looking more coral now. Okay, so I probably should cut my crease with a concealer or cut crease canvas, but I don't feel like it. I'm being a little lazy today. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with some of the gold shimmer and just put some of that on my lid. And I'm gonna try it dry first, and if I don't like it, then I'll spray my brush. Okay, so it's not laying down very nicely dry. Let's spray. Okay, so it looks like spraying is the way to go. The reason why I like trying it dry first is because there truly are some shimmers out there where you do not have to wet your brush. You go in and you lay it down dry and it looks amazing. So I always like to see if I can do that with a shimmer because then that kind of lets me know if it is going to be a remarkable shimmer if it does that dry now let's just gonna do gold and then smoke it out with the purple but I think I do want to add a bit of the purple shimmer which is called violet right next to that gold and blend it into my outer corner
Okay, now I'm just going in with some of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. I think I'm just going to do a simple wing. Like I said, I need to leave the house today. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I have my liner done, my little simple wing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face and come back because this video is going to be long enough as it is. And then we'll finish up the lower lash line and I'll give you my thoughts on this Glam Light Pink Palette. Yo, you guys, I just had to come back right quick because I truly thought that I did not like this foundation. I haven't used this foundation in a long time and I'm kind of feeling it, okay? I really am. I'm kind of feeling this little ColourPop foundation. I have not used this in forever. And I'm feeling it today. I don't know if it's in combination with, you know, what I did for my skin today or whatever, but I just want to let y'all know I'm feeling this right now, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm back. Complexion is done. I know I told you guys what foundation I put on the ColourPop because I was feeling it and I'm still feeling it. <laughs> but everything else will be listed down in the description box below. Under my eyes, I did try out the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer and I'm not that impressed. I actually feel like I'm creasing more than usual. I also use my Ciate um, Translucent Powder which I actually really like. So I'm gonna have to try this concealer out with a different powder to see if it is what's causing the creasing or the Ciate powder. I don't think it's the Ciate powder though. I think it might be this. So anywho, just a side note. So let's go ahead and finish up this lower lash line and put on some mascara and then talk about this palette. So I'm gonna go in with one of my LA Girl Shockwave eyeliners. This is the purple one. I believe the shade is Vivid and I'm just gonna put that on my waterline. Okay, and going back into the palette, I just wanna take some of the coral shade and just smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. Since I have that purple on my waterline, I'm just gonna do the coral underneath there. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the purple on my lower lash line as well because that coral is very, very bright. <laughs> very, very bright. So I'm gonna add a little bit of purple as well. Okay, and I'm gonna go into the white shimmer for a little bit of an inner corner pop. And this white, it actually has like a little bit of like a gold shift to it. I don't know if you can see that. So it's white, but it also has a gold shift in there. And it seems to be laying down okay without me wetting it, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that shadow does not need to be sprayed. Gee whiz. Now you don't have to wet it for pigment, but if you want to be okay with no fallout, you probably wanna wet it. I'm always making my life difficult. Okay, you guys, and I have one more thing that I wanna try today. I grabbed a couple of the new ColourPop Luxe lip glosses. Now, I was kinda hesitant after watching Andrea Renee's video um, saying that they were getting a little bit goopy and sticky and stuff but I just couldn't resist. I really, really wanted to try them for myself. Look at that packaging, so, so cute. So I did pick up two of them. This one is the shade, 
ticklish. So this light one that I have is ticklish. And this other one that I have, it's kind of like the lavender type shade or pinky lavender is tied up. So yeah, I got ticklish and tied up. I think I'm going to just put on a little bit of ticklish today with a liner, just kind of see if I like it. Ooh, she is thick. And I'm not even putting a lot on. Okay, so I'm just trying to keep it at a light layer. I mean, it's cute or whatever. It's not like super duper shiny like the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I definitely like the shine of the Gloss Bomb better. Smells good. But yeah, I am getting that kind of nasty gooey lip thing going on. And like I said, I really didn't put a lot on at all. I mean, it's cute or whatever, but it wouldn't be my first choice for a gloss. So first impression. Okay, so this is the final look you guys for this Glam Light paint palette. it came out very nice I feel like I can still leave the house because I didn't go too ham with the colors <laughs> but just my first impression thoughts is it's a decent enough palette I don't feel like there's anything special about these shadows nothing remarkable or anything like that I mean that gold looked really really nice when I wet it um the purple shimmer is just okay it's an average purple shimmer in the mattes performed decently enough. I don't have any complaints about this palette. The white, the shimmery white is really, really vibrant and bold as you can see in my inner corner, but I don't think there's anything special enough about these shadows in particular to where, you know, you can't purchase any of those other lesser expensive palettes that I showed you and get the same type of look, same type of vibe. So I think this is more of a novelty thing for it being in the shape of a palette, you know, I'm a makeup collector as well as a user, so I don't have any regrets about buying it. I think it's cute. <laughs> but first impression, it's just a decent palette. Nothing remarkable. It works. Um, so that's pretty much it, you guys, for this video. I know I was trying all kinds of stuff today, but I just want to sit down with you guys and have a good time playing makeup and try out some face products. So if you like this video, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to your girl, go ahead and subscribe so you can hang out with me every time I pop up on the tube, okay? <laughs> and I think that's about it. I think I'm gonna leave this headband on until my husband tell me to take it off, okay? <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!